there is only one true God. God is spirit. He is a spirit being. He is the source of all he gives and communicates relative to his own spirit category. And then, of course, the inside man, as I mentioned, is that Holy Spirit life that all holy people have received. It is the one part of our present three-part being. You see, I have my flesh. I have my breath life. I can breathe. I'm alive. But I've also received the gift of Christ in me, that Holy Spirit life. So have you. So have all Christians, all true Christians, who have believed regarding the Lord Jesus Christ. The gift of Holy Spirit does not consist of soul or breath life, nor does it consist of a physical body. And it's not dependent on the physical outward appearance of a living human being. You know, just because you may look the way you do, or I look the way I do, in the physical flesh category, that makes no difference whatsoever to the spirit that God gives to us. God continues to communicate his information to the spirit within us regarding different situations and circumstances that we may come across as we live our everyday lives. This is true for all holy people who decide to walk with and for God during our lives. We need to be receptive to how God works within us in that Holy Spirit life within us, in that, that Holy Spirit life manifests itself to each one of us, giving us information regarding the situations we may be in as appropriate. In the future, when Christ gathers us all together with him in the air, we will at that time receive our spiritual bodies. But right now, we don't have our spiritual bodies yet, but we have receive the gift of Holy Spirit. Now Paul continues to pray towards the Father in order that God would give to the holy people according to the wealth of his glory to be caused to be strong with ability by means of his spirit, God himself, into the inside man, our spirit. Then he says, Christ to dwell down referring to the Christ permanently dwelling in the walk or behavior category by means of belief in your hearts, through or by way of you, holy people, believing what God gives us to believe within the center or core of our beings. We already have the Spirit of Christ in us. That doesn't change. What Paul is praying about here is in the walk behavior category that we would live accordingly. Christ to dwell down by means of belief in your hearts. And this can occur because you have already been rooted and you continue rooted. You know, as a tree has roots spreading out around in the ground or the earth underneath it to receive nourishment from the earth, to sustain it and to keep it in its situation, in its place so that it can sit, receive sunlight, etc. So we have been rooted, and you have already been founded, and you continue or remain founded or put or placed as fundamental as a foundation of a house or a building. We have been laid, how? In love. That's that word agape again, God's kind of love. And these two words in love are emphasized in this phrase by being placed at the beginning in the Greek text, emphatically within the sphere of action of godly love, which all holy people have in that spirit within us. So Paul was praying that Christ to dwell down in the walk behavior category by means of belief in your heart because you have already been rooted and you have already been founded in love for the purpose and result that you may be strong out from inside of you so that you would be strong with that inherent strength 
from the strength that is within you, what's within us? Our Holy Spirit life. So we, in the walk behavior category, can be strong and our strength comes from the Spirit within us. So that we can comprehend, we can receive that information that is given to us and put it together in our mind so that we can comprehend, we can receive it with eagerness, take hold of it, together with all holy people, in conjunction with every other holy person, sanctified people. It's not only you, maybe in a particular location, but it's available for all holy people to receive information from God and from the Lord Jesus Christ via the gift of Holy Spirit within us. And Paul's prayer is that we would be strong from within, from inside of us, from that inside man, so that we can comprehend together with all other holy people, so they can also comprehend what is the width you know, width is how far across in a wide area, the breadth. And the length, how far a distance it reaches. And the height, how far upwards in an exalted position. And the depth, how far downwards with great purpose and importance. And this is all relating to love. And Paul continues, he says, and relating to these four, the width and the length and the height and depth and to personally know to have that truly active and relative knowing to be personally knowledgeable of Christ's love that godly love that Christ himself has for us the love that Christ manifests towards all of us holy people Christ is the head and we are members of his body, that one spiritual body of Christ, his body of people. Christ loves us with what? With God's kind of love, that agape kind of love. So it is from within, from that spirit of Christ within us, that we can comprehend together with all other holy people what is the width, the length, the height, and depth and to personally know, to personally know Christ's love, which is super throwing of the knowledge. It is surpassing to a greater degree pertaining to the personal knowledge of or from the Christ, as if throwing it or casting the knowledge for an extreme distance or measure beyond the limits already attained by us, by the holy people. Now we need to note here, of course, that Paul did not write that Christ's love had gone past knowledge, for then we couldn't know it. Paul is praying that we would know it, that we would be able to comprehend, together with all other holy people, what is the width, the length, the height, and depth and to personally know Christ's love, which is super throwing of the knowledge for the purpose and result that all the fullness of God, every part of the filling, the result of the action of filling, the full contents, all of the fulfillment belonging to and proceeding from God, which he makes available to all of us, to all holy people, and we saw that in verse 16. For the purpose and result that all the fullness of God would be fulfilled, would be filled up, made full, accomplished to, for, or in all of us who are holy people. And this is relating to the walk or behavior category. We already have the Spirit of Christ in us. And now we know it's available for us to comprehend Christ's love. In the spirit category, we have that Christ in us. And Christ, who is the head, fills us with his own fullness because we have that spirit within us. And we are the filling of his one spiritual body, 
We read that previously in Ephesians chapter 1, verse 23. In the walk, behavior, or conduct category concerning our close fellowship, relationship with God our Father and with our Lord Jesus Christ, it is dependent upon our believing what God says, which includes information that is communicated to us via the Holy Spirit life within us, which is the Spirit of Christ in us. The inside man or inner man, and we can do that, we can walk in love, in Christ's love. 